to you about the demon that empty you of your joy. Yes, yes, yes. Is that all right? Amen. The, the demon that emptied you of your peace. Yes, we give you in Luke 8 chapter, the fifth and the twelve verses. Then we give you Nahum chapter 2 verse 2 about the empty. The demons that empty you. Every individual. If you don't know God, if you don't have God in you, yeah, so yeah. when the devil steals the word that God has given you, the leaf you empty, void, and when you are empty, you have nothing to go, to hold on to. Yeah, Is that a despair set in? Yeah. Is that right? So listen to that message. And I want to take you, give you another revelation of another demon that is the name is hidden between the, the pages of the Bible. But they are very well active now than ever before. They are very well active now than ever before. So if you will, please turn with me to Isaiah chapter 34. Take your Bible. Let your eyes be open to things. I said the Lord was teaching us last week, things just don't happen. There's always an entity or the force behind behind your situation. What a good or bad. Something always behind your problem. Some spirit. Some entity. It could be a voodoo practitioner. Because the name of the demon that we gave you last week is more popular in the Caribbean. In Haiti, in South America, they invoke that demons hell to mess people up. They're very well common. Because if you don't know this thing, you are sitting there. How can you fight against somebody you don't know about? Or something you don't know about? Hello. So, uh, God want us to be in the knowing just how you and I can seek God to send his holy angelic beings to come to our rescue. Yeah. The devil does it, the devil does it same thing with his follow. They can invoke demons. You don't have to do nothing to a wish, or to a sorceress, or to a wizard. They only, sometimes they just hit you just for your, your common appearance. Is that right? Your good looks? Or they just hit you for your cologne. <laughs> it smells good. Simple thing. Oh, Someone just hit your 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 family, your family trees. Somebody say praise the Lord. Uh, Isaiah chapter thirty-four. Do you have it here? Let's start with verse fourteen. Let, let, let's start with verse one. Then we'll go to verse fourteen. Isaiah thirty-four verse one says, "Come near, ye nations." To hear and hearken or listen, ye people, let the earth heard, let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the word, and all things that come forth of it.
for the indignation of the Lord is upon whom? The indignation of God is upon what? All nations. The indignation. For the indign Are you flowing with me? Are you on the same chapter with me? The in for the indignation of the Lord is upon whom? All nations. All nations and his fury upon whom? All their armies, and he had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to whom? The slaughter. Who are the slaughter demons? Who are the slaughter? Slaughter. Demons. Who are the killers? Demons. You don't have to die physically to know that you are dead. Right. Stuff can be taken away from you. And you are walking around like a zombie. Mm -hmm. Somebody shall say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I so thank I want you. to talk to you about one of these demons that have been unleashed on the earth. 14 verse. Turn with me to the 14th verse. The, the wild beast of the desert shall also meet with the wild beast of the island. <laughs> Two different beasts. And the SATRs, the satyr, shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a what? A place of rest. I want to talk to you about that demon, S A T Y R, that meets with its fellow demons to find a resting place in the demon. You're looking for a resting place in the hymn. Somebody said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I, thank you. I, want to, when, I want you to write it down. If you don't understand it when you go home, Google it and find the definitions and the function of the demon for yourself. Is very active as we speak. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. These demons have been unleashed because it is the biblical prophecy. Somebody shout say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. We are in a time that the Bible is fulfilling itself. Uh, when you read Revelations chapter 17, people are trying to say, I was talking to my wife the other day, uh, and I want to believe that, that we are in the last and evil day. Uh, we, the spiritual uh, religious leaders in the world today, we are Looking at Pamela Harris to be the beast, the woman the Bible talks about in Revelation chapter 17. Uh, because we are in the last and evil days. One day, we and myself will talk on that issue. Somebody said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I but thank let, you. Let, let, let's go back to the subject matter here. What is what did demon represent? <coughs> Satyr, S-A-T-Y-R, that's a, that's a male. <coughs> and the female, S-A-T-R-E-E, -E, Satyrs. So, what is their function? What is their 
operation for which uh, they are in existence. I want to speak to you on this subject. Say, neighbor, find a place of destiny. Oh, you, may, you may be a, a destiny child, but do you have a place that God has allocated for you to function from, to work from? You cannot say you are a destiny person, but you don't have no location. Amen. Every destiny. Everyone that God predestinated or destiny in his hands, he gave them place to work from. Amen. Amen. Joseph was sent to Egypt. Moses was sent to Egypt. Jeremiah was sent to Babylon. And the list go on. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. There, is, there is a reason for a place of destiny. You cannot say you are a destiny child that God is musing you. Then you just roaming around from place to place. <laughs> a a devil-minded person is all, all unstable in all his way. I say, neighbor, find a place of, of your destiny. Is that right? I'm going to give you the reason why. Now, let me tell you what a demon does. The demon has an excess, excessive desire for liquor, for wine. Excessive desire for sex. Excessive desire for dancing. Excessive desire for music. So, He's an influencer. He influencing people with alcohol spirit. Session yourself. Do your own homework. Somebody shall say praise the Lord. Praise yeah, Lord. yeah. He 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 invade the lives of people with alcoholic desire. Sexual desire. They love, you know, you know, people that drink love to dance, right? Amen. Musical desire. Pleasureful. Is that right? Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pleasurable desire. The demon is described to be half man and half good. Uh, read it for yourself. They, they describe as a half man, what? And half good. It's in the scripture right there in the midst of it. I'm giving you, know, if you don't believe it, make your own research. It's, he described a half what? Half man and what? And half good. And you know what he does? He does in desert places. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Okay, so, 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 what does he do? What does he influence people with an alcoholic spirit, a pleasurable spirit, and sex, and oh yes, music that will cause you to dance because what? Well, he wants to, Jesus says, I come, the devil come to kill, be patient with me, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. Right, Is that right? That's what he does. Right. Jesus said, but I come to give you a life. Amen. That is what? More abundant. The devil don't want you, or the demons don't want you to benefit the life, God giving life. He comes to give you life that is what more abundant. So if he make you an alcoholic, if he make you a sexual predator, 
if he make it a one that just endure, because music did not come from heaven. Music was created by the devil according to Genesis. Musical instrument were created by the devil. Oh yeah, Lucifer were created, the most beautiful creature God ever created with musical pipes all in his body. According to Ezekiel 28. Powerful hinges. So now the devil want to put the demon want to pull you out of your place of rest in Christ, out of your place of pleasantry, out of your place of prosperity, to pull you into his desert. Because desert, you know, desert do not have tree. Desert do not have running water. Come on now. Desert do not have do not have crops or food to feed you. So he want to take you from your place of rest into the place of suffering. So he touch you with alcohol. Are you following with me? Because you know alcohol will mess you up, cause you to lose control, cause you to lose your family, cause you to lose your godly blessing. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say, Lord, oh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, 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 the Lord let me to teach you last week. Uh, do not go after the branch. Yeah, you can go to AA meeting. And for a while, you cut off that branch. But something can trickle that branch to grow again. Is, is that right? Oh yeah, but the best thing, the best way that you can fight these conditions, the, the best way to fight, oh yes, yes, these situation is to know the source, where they're coming from. Then you go after the source and never be in the knowing. You can go to a meeting, I'm fine. <laughs> But you are just putting bent, bent day on the situation. Are you following with me? You are putting bent day on the situation. You can go to a counselor and try to oh, hold yourself back uh, because of the craving of the flesh. That cost me, oh my goodness, to do things that our grown ups are not, not supposed to do. Uh, it's just putting band aid on the situation. Somebody shall say, how to be. Say, neighbor, it's good to know, it's good to know the soul. Then you can, God said, I gave you the power to root them out. When you know the deep demon, you can go after the demon instead of going after the symptom. Are you following with me? Can I, can I speak that? Can I repeat that once again? When you know what the source of your problem is, uh, uh, when you know the source, the root cause of your problem, you go after the roots instead of the branch. Uh, Jeremiah empower you to pull, to pull, to, to pull your situation up by the roots. Yeah. Pull them up by the roots. Is that right? But if you don't know what you are dealing with, how can you know the roots? If you don't know the entity behind your conditions, the entity behind your situation, the entity behind your weakness. Somebody say, Lord, help me out. Lord, help me out. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. And you say, Bishop, yeah, I, I, I almost, I understand what you are talking about. I understand. I know a family person that going through that. I know a neighbor. <laughs> That like going through that, uh, even in my home, because nobody is immune to the demonic attack. Uh, honey, you can 
Put your Bible on your arms and put your Sunday coat to church dresses and and dread like my goodness on night on the shiny. Is that right? right. That you are no immune from any demonic attack until you know how to deal with them. Is that right? Your family I know are not immune to the demonic attack until you know how to deal with them. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh yeah, we we can stand there and say, I can do all things through Christ that was the strength in me. But you have to position yourself with Christ. Are you following with me? You can sing it all day long. And talk about, I can do all things through Christ. I will recommend Acts chapter 19 to you, seven songs of uh, the high priest went after a man that was possessed by a demon. Is that right? Oh yeah, they, 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 they used the name of Jesus. We, we buy you in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. And the demon turned on the seven songs of the priest and said, Jesus, we know. You are using his name, but we know Jesus and we know Paul, but who are you? By using the name of Jesus, that doesn't mean that you have the character of Jesus. You know what the demon was telling them? Yeah. You are using the name of Jesus, but I don't see the character of Jesus in you. I don't see Jesus working through you. I don't see Jesus walking with you. I don't you see you presenting your body unto God as a living sacrifice. Somebody shall say, thank you, Jesus. So you can use the name, but if you don't have the character of Jesus, demons are not afraid of you. That one I'm not afraid. Are you flying with me? Yeah. Can I repeat that once again? Yeah. You can stand there from sunrise to sunset with the name of Jesus. If by the demon don't see you, who is speaking through you? Yeah. The demon don't see the power of God in you. Or, yeah, the anointing of God upon you. Hallelujah. You are just wasting your time. All right. All right. All right. You're wasting your time. So this is how you fight these demons with the character of Jesus. Say neighbor, develop the character of Jesus. Develop it, develop it. That's how you fight these demons. Oh yeah, that's how you protect your children. Uh, for Christ I live, or for Christ I die. I get to lay aside every weight and the sin that may come between me and my God. Because with all my God, I can't win no victory. With all my God, I can't conquer the devil. Somebody shout and say, hallelujah. hallelujah. With all my God, I can't defeat anything. I can't, I can't defeat any demon. So I know these demons are coming after my loved ones. So I got to be the one to make the sacrifice. Say they never be the one to make the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot talking to somebody. Yeah. Somebody, you, somebody got to stand there and say, Devil, you can't mess with my kids anymore. You can't mess with my love for anymore. You can't mess with my family anymore. You can't mess with my joy anymore. You can't mess with my peace anymore. You can't mess with my God has blessed you. Yeah. 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 So, I, I, I make the sacrifice to present my body unto God. Uh, holy for God to use it. Um, enough is what? It's enough. Somebody shall say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can, can I take you farther? Say neighbor. Find a place of destiny. Yeah, you, you might be a, a, a destiny child. If you are 
a destiny individual that God has predestined yes, to yes, you. Yes. Uh, then you have to, <laughs> you have a fight on him yes. with the devil. Yes. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. And he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. The Bible said he was led by the Spirit into the desert area, into the wilderness. What you don't know as a destiny child, every one of us have had our wilderness time. Is that right? We have what? Our wilderness time. But if you don't know how to handle your wilderness time, well, the devil is there to test your character. The devil is there to test your capacity. How to work God's power. How to work out God's wisdom. To test your resistance. That was the devil did to Jesus. Led Jesus in the wilderness. And thank God he passed his test. And neighbor, I believe you can pass your test. Yes. Jesus passed the test. You can pass your test. Is that right? So look at Jesus. The Matthew 14 chapter. Jesus had fed the five thousand and he has sent his disciples across the, the oceans and, and he was left alone to pray. The scripture say after prayer midnight in the fourth hour of the night Jesus came walking on the ocean in the night in the darker hours. Somebody shout say hallelujah. I'm gonna give you a revelation, brother. Every anointed man and every anointed woman have a, a darker hours. Yes, yes, yes. Him or she alone with God. Mama is not there. Daddy is not there. Friends are not there. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Oh, when you look at Moses, yeah, God called the children of Israel together at Mount Sinai. And God was speaking, speaking to them through the dark cloud. And only Moses alone was able to go in the dark cloud to talk to God. The dark cloud is a place of challenge. Oh, glory to God. Can I prophesy to somebody? The dark cloud is not a place of death. It's a place of revelation. When you are in your dark season, God allows you to enter that darkness with him. Because the Bible says around his pavilion there are darkness. God dwell in dark places, in darkness. Somebody shout say hallelujah. Yeah, God is calling. Jesus is walking on the oceans, moving towards his disciples. Yeah, that are being buffeted by a storm that were hitting against their little boats, that were hitting against their little ship. Yeah, Jesus is coming. Remember, now he left them to go and minister to God in prayer. And the scriptures say they saw him coming, walking in the dark. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Jesus is being prepared by God in his dark hours, in his darkness, in his dark season. I want to repeat that once again to you. Darkness is not a bad place to be with God if God appointed that for you. If God appointed that as part of your process. Say, neighbor, you gotta trust the process. I can't say, neighbor, you gotta trust the process. You gotta experience the process. If you are a destiny child, destiny male, or a destiny woman, that God planned to use, you got to experience the 
Christ. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. Because if you cannot experience the process, then you will not know what our sister is going through. You will not know what our brother is going through. You will not know what our family is going through. Either we will not know what the congregation is going through. Somebody say, Lord, teach me. I, I can't hear you. Say, Lord, will you please teach me? Are you feeling with me? Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Jesus walking on the ocean. Going there to where the boats were being stranded by storm. Mm, hitting against their boats. Is that right? And when Jesus was approaching, the disciples saw him. And the scripture said they were afraid because they saw this shadow walking towards them. Is that right? Uh, and they thought he, he was a, a ghost, a demonic ghost. Uh, somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Uh, oh, yeah. But Jesus uh, seen them uh, and seen the fear in them. Uh, he said, it is I. Be a good cheer. Yes. Yes. Is, is that right? Uh, he is the one uh, that was walking in the darkness uh, with no fear. Uh, Come on now, he is the one yeah. that will yeah. walk in the darkness. Yeah. When you can experience God's darkness, Ooh. it can take away fear. Ooh. When you can experience God's darkness, it can strengthen you above the devil. Ooh. When you yeah. can experience yeah. God's darkness, yeah. it can strengthen you above witches and, and sorcerer. Yeah. Somebody says the Lord we teach me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was the one that was walking in the darkness. Uh, is that right? Uh, but they whom I was standing in the boats. Uh, glory to God. And this storm began to hit again at their boats. All their home. All their dwelling. I don't know what storm. Can I have a heavy Yeah, yeah. 
mighty name of Jesus. God brought you here. Maybe to tell you this is your place for divine stability. This is your place for divine healing. This is your place for divine deliverance. Is that right? When you are in prayer, he takes away your consciousness. 
concentration and bring some DS to your mind. It bring your past activities to your mind. Some of the songs say hallelujah. Just to confuse you. Are you flowing with me? Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, I say, neighbor, this is my place. This is my destination. To meet with my God. I will never quit again. I will never let go again. I got to stay here.
mountain. Lord, I need your presence. I'm not in a desert. I need your presence. Therefore, I should prosper. And be in good health. Give me as my soul prosper. Lord, I'm in your presence. I can't hear you. I'm in your presence, Lord. You are in your presence, Lord. This is my destination. This is my destination for my healing. Every seed in my 
Hallelujah. I get a lot of victory. I can't hear it. Lord, thank you for visiting me. I thank you for visiting my home. I thank you for visiting my children. Sometimes God don't answer the parent prayers. Amen. 
Sometimes he go through the anointed child. That what happened to that what happened to Hagar. Yes. Yes. I don't want. I can point that child out, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't want y'all to hear who, who the person is. Only between God and myself. Because of the prayer of that child, I see a great door of blessing opening for her. Within the next three days, today what? Mm -hmm. Sunday, yes. Monday, Tuesday, by Wednesday, things will start breaking up for you. Because the prayer of that child, secret prayer of that child. While, while others, I see my friend having this all good, dressing good, but God is preparing my girl that her children will have. Praise God. She, she knows, your children will have. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Because of the secret prayer of that chair. Amen. You and God. All the time, God, God's good. Huh? God and you are going to raise that chair. All the time. That chair is of destiny. That chair is of destiny, Thank you. Thank you. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. And God is good. God is All good. the time. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell us, sister. All right. Pauletta. 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 That's a beautiful name. Let Peter be All that Peter will say. <laughs> Somebody shout say glory to God. Glory to God. As, I see you as a woman of strength. Man, talk, tell me something about mine. Yeah. <laughs> a woman of strength. Uh, I see something in you that every woman that I have. Uh, I see something that you you know what you need. So no man can just come walk in your life and say, you get what I'm saying? Amen. Hallelujah. A woman of strength. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Yes. Amen. It's good to know your, 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 your path. You? She may not know everything about her path, mm. but God is giving the revelations to tell you that you are on the right path with him. Amen. Hallelujah. You are on another one here, see ya. You are on the right path with him. Amen. Praise God. So There are a couple of individuals that have been in your life that don't understand that God is leading you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to go there? <laughs> <laughs> couple of Indians, individuals that don't know That God set you on the path. Mm, so if you, if you don't bend to their way, then you are not good for them. Mm. Come on. Mm. Amen. 
But I want to decree and declare over you today that our stronghold is broken. Amen. That stronghold is broken. Stay your ground. Professor on you, those individuals, one day going to serve you. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Those individuals, one day going to serve you. Amen. Amen. Can I repeat that the third time? Amen. Those same individuals going to serve you. Alright, alright, alright. You are, you are a destiny child. Amen. Amen. You are a destiny child. Mm -hmm. It was not an accident that you are here today. Mm -hmm. The thing people don't understand, you can have to see, the thing people don't understand, mm -hmm. that one thing that Jesus said to us in his word, what we, we buy here will be buying in heaven. What we lose here will be what? Lose in heaven. It takes a man of God, a woman, and a woman to lose your blessing. That's it, right there. Oh, yes. I don't get it. Yeah. Read the story of a Paul. Paul, who was a prosecutor of Christians, will not function, will not operate until Adonai prayed for him. Yeah, Jesus said, I chose you. You're going to do a great thing for my name. This and that. You're going to go through a lot of things. But for Paul will not operate until and now you lose our blessing. Amen. Lord, break that curtain. Somebody shout say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break every spirit that then cutting off your progress. From this day on, the doors are open in your behalf. Hallelujah. There is a reason. That you are here. God giving the word for you. Amen. That this is now your station for blessing. Amen. Your station for deliverance. Yes, your station sir. for healing. Somebody shout, say hello. When, when you are in that place of destination, the storm just have to cease. You understand where I'm coming from? I'm a witness. I'm a witness. When God brings you to your place of destination, where he allocated for you, where he purposed for you, there where you are there, my goodness, you, you are there to, 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 to be acquainted with your purpose. Amen. That was today, preacher, don't understand. I came from Africa, there were a hundred dollars in my pocket. Mm -hmm. 1984. I went to a whole white church from the beginning. They were good to me. But God told me this is my destination. Amen. He gave me the prophecy before I came out of Africa. And the man that he sent me to, he got a prophecy before I came. So the, the day we met, January 2nd, 1986, you got hope up. You gotta know it was my destination. You were not a rich man. But you obedient to God's process. Help me to be to where I am today. Amen. Eighteen long years I hang out with my pastor. 
Live, live, you know. You know, the greater man in that. Say, neighbor, this is my destination. When you get to your destination, what God wants you to be, the storm sees. That what he meets you for your year, for your deliverance, for your training, for your blessing. Are you flowing with me? I want to give you that nugget to stop bouncing around from church to church. From place to place. Oh, honey, don't get me wrong. I never play toy. Because there are some messages I will preach for you, preach to you that you may not like. But you better stay put. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. There are some messages because I'm not preaching just to you. I don't get behind that place to preach before God gave me the message. Amen. I don't search it from no other book but from the Bible. Amen. I talk to my God every day. There was a time that when I was being raised, practicing to know God, seeking to know God, there was a season in my life that I saw angels, but they would not communicate with me. They will visit me and do their job. They will be with me on the highway, in my car, but they will not speak to me. I got my message directly from the Holy Ghost. But now I'm in heavenly places where angels are speaking to me face to face. I'm not boasting. If I'm boasting, I'm boasting the Lord. But you know what it, what it takes me to be to where I am? Obedient. Obedient to the process. Obedient. So there are some day, oh, Bishop did not speak to me today. But you don't know what Bishop is. Mine is somewhere else. Oh, he saw me into the store. He didn't even acknowledge me. Holy. You don't know how many people I'm praying for. Right. Right. So true. I heard that before. So true. So true. Oh, you didn't give me attention to the sweetheart. You know the only one. People are calling me from every corner of the world. And I ain't pray on that behalf. But I'm still the same. Because I didn't speak to you that doesn't mean that I don't know you. I'm just right. so true. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, oh, why would he say that to me? I'm putting my money. Money, I'm not doing this thing for money. Let me tell you now. This is not for money. I've been doing this thing for over 30 years. It's not for money. I have opportunity to work out of the states. If I will not leave, it's not about money. You know what it's about? For God to be glorified. Amen. For you to be healed. For you to be delivered. For you to be blessed. For you to be made whole. And enjoy prosperity here before you get to heaven. So we make the sacrifice. There are days, have my wife, there are days that I sit in my home on that couch meditating. And my wife will not even get my attention. And we've been married for over 30 years. And she understands that. Oh, you don't get it. Yes, there are days that just shut down, just meditate on you. What going on in the world? What going on with God's people? Yes. Seeking for revelation. She just gave her testimony. They gave her six months to live. Cancer that cannot be operated on. They pull her in the operation room. Five minutes later, they pull her out of there. The tumor is too big, we can't operate on it. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Right here, she was in prayer lines, and the Lord told me it's a molehill. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes. Do you remember? Right here in prayer lines. The Lord told me to tell the Lord said it's a molehill. What do a molehill do? It melts. It vanishes away. And that's just what happened. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. What a God we say. 
So when you see me somewhere, I may not call you by your name. I'm telling you, that's one of my handicaps. I remember faces, but I don't remember names. It would take me a while to get to know your name. I've been like that all my life. But I cannot forget faces. So I mean, I'm not call you by your name. Please forgive me in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I'm telling you, because what I come out from among them and be ye separated, be set aside. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I want, I'm all done and walk somewhere, put it in the A bag of chips. <laughs> but I, I learned to deny myself a certain thing. Just to be in the position for God's spirit to flow through. Amen. For you yeah. and for myself and my family. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, oh, put your hands together. Bless the Lord. Today is communion day. Let us stand and get our communion going.